So I'm just going to jump right in. Oh, wow. I did not expect this season to kick off with Susanna's death already having happened. Uh, Rachel, when did you find out about that news? And were you worried for a minute? Like, did I just lose my job? Or was Uh, it like... (laughs) Well, I I think I found out... When did we get the scripts? I can't remember when we got them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before? Yeah, not... It it was kind of close to when we started shooting. Um, I had read the books, so I knew Mm. I wasn't long for the world. (laughs) (laughs) Aww. Yeah. So after Susanna's death, uh, we see Julia come back into the world, uh, into the story. And I liked, you know, the dynamics that she had with all these different characters. What do you think for you was the defining aspect of Julia's life that helped you sort of grab a hold of this character? And how do you think that life changes after she sort of reconciles with her family? Yeah. I mean, I think that she doesn't wish, I think that on some level, Julia really wishes that she did have the view of the world that Susanna had and that that was something that she could, that she could be more joyful. Um, But that, but that Julia didn't have that experience, you know. Um, they had the same father, but they had different mothers. And um, and my experience of being in that house was that I really wasn't welcome there. Whereas, you know, for her, it was always just the most welcoming place in the world, and it was it was as if I had changed. But really, I didn't. I didn't change. Just the circumstances changed. You know, he he broke up with my my mother, and you know, and so it was never a it was never a home for me. It was always just a house, and for her, it was nothing but a home. Mm, yeah, definitely. And Jackie, I think out of everyone, Laurel is probably by Susanna's side the most on those like final days. Uh, But she also seems to be the person coping the best out of everyone. How do you think she holds it together? Or is it more about the fact that she recognizes she has to be the most responsible one? Yeah, I I don't know if she's actually coping the best, but it probably Mm -hmm. appears that way from the outside. I think she realizes that they are each other's closest person and she is the one that's going to help take care of her. And so she needs to remain strong, also take care of her kids, also, you know, be a single mother. Um, So I think for most of the season, she's just containing it until she kind of has to let it out. Yeah. And I think there's a really interesting dynamic between these three women, um, because in a way, I feel like Susanna sort of after her sister left, there's this replacement with um, with Laurel and there's like some a somewhat of a tension there. Do you guys feel that like there was ever a universe where perhaps Susanna survived and she, you know, overcame um, her illness and the three of them became friends and their kids could have grown up together? Or is there too much baggage there? Do you think it never would have become as uh, as congruent as it? It'd be nice to think that that could happen. Sometimes I feel it takes tragedies to bring those things together, Mm. the people together in that way. And that tragedy was Susanna's death. So I don't know if there would have been an event that would have brought them together. Mm. But I think of Sky and the kids all really Mm -hmm. missing out on that. We kind of robbed them of that experience, the cousins together. Yeah. So hopefully there would have been something that brought them together. Yeah. Yeah, I think that connection with the kids is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, this is a show with a large cast and everyone sort of is in their own corners a little bit. Is there a character that you guys wish that your characters had more screen time with or somebody you have more of a connection developing with? And um, Rachel, I'll start with you. I mean, my, my scenes were quite contained this season. So but I would have liked to have had more scenes this season with both of you. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that would have been fun. Same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah same. <laughs> I also, it would have been nice to see the girls together, you know? Yeah, like, it would have yeah, been That nice. would have been kind yeah. of fun, a flashback scene, the tension. and the, Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. And I'm I'm asking this question to everybody. Um, who do you guys think, for you guys personally, who do you guys think um, Belly should end up with? Is it Conrad or is it um, Jeremiah? I'm going to say Conrad just to mix it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's young. She doesn't need to choose. Yeah. She should have many it lovers. Could be okay. someone entirely <laughs> different. That's a that's a different answer that I was getting from some of the other cast members. Ooh, but, what uh, were they saying? saying? Yeah. What were they saying? Well, um, I think Rain and um, David. Oh no, Elsie and David both said Conrad, and Rain said Jeremiah, which I agree with because I think Conrad was a little bit. 
there was there was too much this season. He was <laughs> a little bit too wishy washy. I think I'm too old for that type of energy <laughs> in my life. So I don't think I love that. <laughs> um, but yeah, is there an aspect of your guys's character that you want to explore more? Um, just you know, maybe a part that might not even be filmed, but is something that you want to like dig into. Hmm. Yeah, I want to do a road trip. See, I think it'd be fun to, to see us on a road trip. <laughs> yeah, it would be fun. All three. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, like that. I think that would be kind of a chaotic road trip. I think mean, that's the, that's the yeah. traumatic moment that you guys can fun. bond over is yeah. being forced in space together. Yeah. Okay. Well, I really want to thank you guys for speaking with me. Um, I really enjoyed this season. I love the new edition and I love sort of seeing this this show grow every season and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with next. So thank you for speaking with me. Thanks thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.